What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we're back, uh, back in my apartment in the place I normally record and it's good to be back. We're, today we're going more Hidden Fates, of course. We got two Charizard tins and uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of stuff has been going on. Let's see, where do we begin? Finally, finally broke the curse not too long ago and uh, thanks for all the, uh, you know, like the, the people trying to wish me luck and to break that curse and we finally were able to do that and so I'm loving the response from the community and how you know just people were feeling the uh, <laughs> helping me cope through the pain like oh you know it's coming it's coming and we finally did it and we got a really good one too so I was super happy about that Let's see what else oh these tins have come out and these I really underestimated these promos like especially this one of course the biggest one that art looks amazing. I do not like these tabs. You know, like all the good things they've been doing with those um, tag team tins and stuff like that. And I think the the Reshizard collection thing. Oh, actually, that was at least those easy to get out. But I just don't like how it exists. <laughs> those two tabs are simply there. But this one seems to have come out relatively unscathed, which is nice. And another readily available awesome Charizard card. So super behind that. And uh, yeah, these guys obviously come with four packs. Improvement over the three from the pin collection. So our openings can have more than three packs. Today we're going to do a total of eight. And all right, let's get into these four. Then we'll crack into our second tin. And all the places I've been getting them from, uh, I was able to get a lot of the Charizard ones, so heavily skewed towards the Charizard side. While we do have, obviously, we'll have some Gyarados and the Raichu, um, definitely won't be even, and that's a good thing, <laughs> if you ask me. Let's see, hurt my thumb the other day. Oh, boy! <laughs> we didn't do the pack trick right, but that's okay, because we got an awesome card. Curlia, oh man, I... Do we have the Ralts yet? I don't think so. I really want the Ralts. Now we have the Curlia, and then, oh gosh, can't wait till I get that Gardevoir. And now that the curse is broken, the floodgates hopefully will be open, and we're going to be swamped in shiny GXs, and it's a little awkward with this Band-Aid, but we'll muddle through. We got Koga, Misty's Gym, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Butterfree, I believe that's the rare. And then there's that energy. So let's see what else is going on. All right, we're gonna do, start giving away some of these tins, and I think tomorrow's video we'll have the video where with how you enter the giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you check out that video. Um, as always, you will need to be you know a sub and stuff. So if you're not already a subscriber, just hit that sub button, hit that bell, so you do get a notification when that video drops, and just to make sure you do enter that giveaway. So all right, pack number two from the side. It looked like we're gonna get something good. Cleave Fairy. Oh my, we are killing it with this Giovanni card. This is our third one. We can't pull shiny GXs very well, but we are getting these full art supporters like. I don't like it's just easy street right now our third one and this was definitely one of the ones I was super excited about boom man this tin is so good <laughs> obviously I feel like the you can get a lot more out of these tins just because they have that additional pack but uh, so far especially compared to the struggle I had with those pin collection box so far I am loving these tins and then Oh man, when the ETBs come out, oh that's gonna be that's gonna be so nice. And um, so far I feel like a lot of people that had trouble getting their pin collections are able to get the tins, and I feel like that's great news. Uh, you know, hopefully, a lot less of this price gouging and stuff like that, so it's just easier for people and they don't have to pay extra. And uh, we got a reverse hollow, but. Nothing too crazy in that pack. And uh, I think uh, in the near future I will do... I do want to start, you know, a lot of people have been sending me comments on Instagram or on my videos about like their insane pulls and I do want to mention some of them. Uh, I just got back from like a 
uh, kind of like a weekend trip kind of thing. So uh, I do have just had to get some stuff organized, but I definitely will do it. Keep sending me your polls. And actually, if you could send me a picture, that'd be even better. I would love to show that off. Especially if you're getting some uh, fire shiny GXs. Although we're coming back, we're, we're gonna we're gonna catch up to you guys. We got Bill's analysis and for our last pack for this box ten at least electrode. I don't think we have this shiny one. I think we've been pulling a couple Voltorbs though. Let's get into our second tin. And while I get this open, um, just another thing is, if you do want to do a tin battle, pack battle of these hidden fates uh, tins. A couple of people have asked me, and I apologize, you know, if I'm not great at getting back to you from YouTube comments. I think the honestly, it's a little bit easier for me to organize something like that, uh, not on a forum that kind of like can get buried, you know, just like it's hard to keep track of all the videos and stuff like that. So honestly, it's a little bit easier for me to coordinate that kind of stuff over Instagram or even Discord. Uh, there's always going to be a link in the description for our Discord that Pokemon Lover 95 set up and those will be a little bit easier to because you know it kind of like keeps a conversation versus like just replying to a comment. So if you do want to set something up, uh, I'm totally game now that the tins have gone have been released. It's going to be a little bit easier. I will say that uh, things on the weekends will be a little bit tricky for myself. Um, I feel like for the next like month or so, weekends are a little bit packed. So, on that during the week, I'm sure we can find time to set that up. So, contact me, Instagram, uh, Discord, all the links down below. We got another four packs. But yeah, let's see giveaway we talked about, um, posting polls, and uh, the battles. Yep, yeah, I think that about covers it. And we still got four more packs. Let's see, how will we get some good pulls in? Oh man, look at those Charizards. They look so good. All right, Psychic Energy, Metapod, Misty's Gym, Magmar, Psyduck, Ekans. Oh, this is another thing. I just want to thank everyone again for kind of like how the channel has been growing in the past couple months. Um, it's been great and a lot of fun, you know, kind of like uh, I feel like there's been a lot more, not collaboration, but like integration of the community and stuff like that. I'm starting to interact with you guys a lot more, so absolutely loving that. And thank you all for the support, obviously. And if you just happen to stumble across this video or channel, definitely hit that sub button and join the community. Uh, this card is starting to slowly grow, and it's great to talk to you guys. Uh, you know, I feel like over through like comments and stuff you know I get to know a little bit about everyone and there's like how their own collections are going but Discord's a little bit easier to kind of have like a more long-term conversation so for this pack we got Brock's training and then oh another shiny we got a Kartana ooh, this card doesn't look that good 60 HP 40 plus if your point is X to 6 prizes remaining uh, so that 60 HP is super low for an ultra piece Either way, that's a pretty cool alternate art. Definitely happy with that. And, um, oh yeah, the floodgates exactly haven't opened, but we're still pulling a lot of shinies that we don't have. And as long as that's the case, you know, it's all good. When we only have shiny GXs left to pull to finish our set, then I think only then will I start getting a little sour. But, uh, you know, we're still getting good pulls, so won't complain too much. But I, it can't be. It can't be. What someone did. Uh, kind of like go through it's like oh man I think it was like 50 something packs <laughs> to get that shiny GX and I highly doubt it's going to take that long but our buck for this one and a reverse Butterfree I feel like this Butterfree I didn't pull it in the beginning and now I feel like I keep seeing it and I keep reminding myself oh that's that's the that's just a rare alright guys last pack for this opening All right, Dark Energy, Charmeleon, Brock's Grit, Farfetch'd, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, a Jigglypuff, Ekans, I'm guessing this is it, boom, Jesse and James, I prefer the full art, we're getting a lot of Giovanni's, let's get a second one of these soon, and then a Charmander, regular, well no, regular reverse. So, not a great opening overall, but I'm still 
really happy to be opening these tins with you guys so we're gonna count this as a win we got these oh gosh you you guys will be sick of get sick of me of admiring this this art but I think it's just amazing and I love how it's readily available for everyone you know like we obviously don't have the shiny one yet but uh, this one is awesome and everyone can get their hands on it so really happy with this uh, with this new product hopefully we get some better polls in the next video stay tuned for tomorrow for the giveaway uh, hit me up on discord Instagram if you do want to set up a battle and yeah keep sending me your polls picture is preferred but uh yeah, it's good to be back in the apartment and uh, catch you guys next time. And uh, I'm Wanna Turtle and I did the wrong order. Bye.